last two games, how much did you guys need today's win? Um, you know, I think it was a great win for us to kind of get our confidence, get our swagger back rolling again. So, um, you know, dropping those last two, not that our confidence was down at all, but like just to get those last two kind of helped bring us up and get the tire rolling, moving again. Karim, how, how did losing the last two help you guys win today? Uh, we were just more focused, play together, uh, you know, play with more energy. Um, I think we did a good job starting the game because uh, lately uh, we've been struggling uh, with whether that's turnovers or a shot selection. I think we did a good job from start to finish. Kaiser, sorry to kind of build on what we just talked about. So you came off the bench today. Um, why did you come off the bench and how much did that motivate you to play one of your best games this season? Um, came off the bench because I wasn't producing probably more I don't know but um you know I just wanted to come out here and play hard and uh you know co help contribute to the team uh, that was it were you getting the looks you wanted were you playing you know more aggressively than normal what what was different today versus the last two games um I, I was a little bit more aggressive um God was telling me to shoot open shots so you know I had the confidence to do that and um you know, I was gonna keep building on that What do you guys take away from today to the next couple of weeks, the next couple of games coming up with St. John's and then having to go to two seats home? No. Um, just play like this every game, you know. We, uh, our defense inten when our defensive intensity is good and we play hard on our defensive end and rebound, our offense is easy and you know we have a great offensive players and it just makes it easier in the offensive and it gets us going. So you guys ever see in practice you tell in the days before the game if you're going to have a good shooting game? I know it's kind of a weird question. <laughs> no, I mean, we've had days where we've shot the ball extremely well at the practice before, and then game time we'll come on and shoot 30% from three. Or, and sometimes the opposite. It doesn't, I don't think, really has a correlation. Just kind of, we get out there, and if we're feeling it, we're feeling it. If we're not, it's usually off night. Karen, what was the, the mood with you guys post Villanova up until today's pregame? I mean, did you guys have any sort of team meeting or kind of, you know, discuss what the problems have been lately getting ready to go into this game? Oh, uh, yeah, we did have a team meeting after the game. Uh, Coach Mack t talked to us and uh, he made sure we knew uh, everybody's role. And uh, I think we did a good job today of sticking to our roles. And uh, when we uh, shared the ball like we did today, yeah, it makes everybody's job so much easier. <laughs> Najee, you, you got the start today. Um, you've become really a, a big part of the team um, as a freshman. Where do you feel like you, you have had the most growth so far this season? Um, definitely on the defensive end. Um, not that I didn't play defense before, it was just like tricks. And little things to make my defense better, you know, using my length and, you know, just playing players straight up, moving my feet. And, you know, guarding the best player, I really, I really like to take on that job and, you know, try my best to shut that player down. So, yeah, defense. We did do that. For any of you guys, Chris Mack tied Pete Gill on the top of the all time wins list here at Xavier with today's victory. Did you guys know that? Did you guys celebrate or anything? Did Chris say anything? No. <laughs> no, I didn't even know it. What, yeah, what congratulations, Coach Mack, though. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. This is for anybody. This is a long season, obviously. Do, do you guys, on occasion, have to be reminded of that and understand that losing one or even two in a row is, is in the grand scheme of things, is not that big of a deal? Do you have to be reminded of that by coaches? Um, I don't think we have to be reminded of that. We have uh, so many experienced players, you know, we have so many upperclassmen that played at a high level for a long time. So I think it's within the players we have to figure that out and um, come into every game uh, knowing that we want to win and how good we are. When you guys lost at Providence, it was an upset loss, but at Villanova you played the number one team. Coming into tonight, did you feel like, he talks about two games as just two games, did you feel like you were on a downhill slide and you had to get it picked up? I mean, you still played a top 25 team at home today. Did it feel like it you know, could be a dangerous path if you didn't win? 
Um, I feel like uh, we play really good at home, no matter who it is. You know, nobody's going to come here and have an easy game. We uh, play tough, especially uh, coming off games like uh, we had at Providence and Villanova. We just wanted to play as hard as we could. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you.